Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Build an Airbase. So, as you can probably tell, this is uh, a screenshot of Just Cause 3. Um, the reason I've got this up is because this is the main inspiration for this kind of alert fighter type area um, using the Griffin from Just Cause 3. So, um, you've got all of these kind of like runways, and I just wanted to talk about this really, really quickly. You've got all these runways kind of like crisscrossing. I didn't want too much crisscrossing just because I thought it wouldn't be as realistic, say, if you were trying to actually land on one of these things. Uh, and, and you kind of had to try and take off again. That's just gonna you're just gonna smash into it. It's gonna be a lot of damage So but I, what I did want to do is different angles as well. So I wanted to, to have quite a lot of angled runways on it um, Obviously, it's just a first kind of like taste of uh, the episode but that gets another pitch I'll just grab them uh, up. So this was a kind of like main inspiration for it is this kind of area these kind of like um, Pillars they all go all go the way all the way down. I do need to do some uh, anti-aircraft type stuff as well around it. So anyway, let's jump into the game and I'll talk about what I've built. So here we are in game. So I think this uh, looks awesome. Um, <laughs> just just from like a couple, quite a few different angles because of the way that all the runways are angled. Uh, I think it just looks really cool. We have got a little bit of a lighting glitch there, but there's nothing we can do about that. Um, so the idea behind with this was, yeah, alert fighters. So these would be fighters that um, you can get into the air really, really quick. Um, so I've got actually I've built some Harriers on it instead, uh, or not really instead, but I've built some Harriers on it. Um, and I think I'm going to put in some sort of catapult systems for them. Um, now I have got one actually doing a vertical landing on a 45 degree angle, that one's something I'll, I'll talk about in a bit. Um, but yeah, the idea being that uh, if for some reason you know you needed to get fighters in the air really really quick, uh, you're under attack and you've got some stealth planes like F-35s coming in or something along those lines, uh, that have only just been detected. You need to get some planes in the air, even if they're not your best planes, um, just to, in, you know, just run interceptor really, um, or tracking or, or whatever, you know, use the radar that they've got on them, that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, really, really kind of interesting. This hill was uh, was actually perfect for it. I, I never planned to do this at all when I built the map, but this area here is absolutely perfect for it. It's kind of like a, a, a gentle sloping, well it's not really a gentle sloping valley, it's a bit of like a, not really a valley either, it's a hill, it's more of a hill than a mountain, uh, which is brilliant because that's exactly what we need, so the idea for a lot of these will be, you know, short takeoff, so they might be catapult assisted, or they might just be doing what the Harriers do on, um, on like the, well, it's only really used by the US these days, but the Harriers, but, um, you know, like short takeoff where they uh, do like conventional type takeoff, but then right at the kind of like last bit, they actually switch their nozzles to point down, which allows them to um, obviously get more thrust upwards. So we'll have like those there. Um, I have got the blast pads in behind as well. There we go. So uh, two tutorials out for the, already out for this guys as well um, for that one. Um, yeah, I've got the blast pads behind, so these would be kind of like raised up. So I've just gone a really really simple design using just a couple of stairs really. And um, we just happen to have like yellow, but the best yellow I had was these. Uh, planks, but from afar you can't tell like as soon as you go to there you, you can't tell it's planks So we've got those um, I've got this one here. This one was more on an angle. So I ended up having to angle the actual blast uh, Blast plate blast area. I don't know something like that. Um, I am gonna change this runway here I'm actually gonna extend it a little bit longer. So these are the two smallest ones out of the two uh, this one's going to stay the same with a really, really short runway. This one, uh, because we've got extra area, I am going to probably bring it out by another pillar to about there. So we've got this one sticking out, and it'll just help to variate this because it looks copy and pasted because that's what I did, um, which is, I, I don't really like the look of it. I can't change the angle now as well because I've started building down here. But I will be changing that one just to make it a bit longer. So, yeah, the idea would be short takeoff um, for exercises and stuff like that. I probably, well, they might not do the vertical landing, they might do. Um, but they could always conventionally land as well on this quite long runway, get taxied away. Um, when I get onto this area, which is going to be in the next probably five episodes or something like that, um, well, it depends on how, how we get on with this uh, next couple of episodes, we'll, we'll have an actual taxiway along to here. The idea being with here, now uh, these will actually lift them up. So these are like the aircraft carrier lifts I've got. Um, so there we go, it's a small area here where I've got another Harry just parked up. Um, but yeah, these are just like small lifts. I've obviously only done one of them. The rest of them are, you can just imagine them working. Um, where you have, you know, a big gates in here. So these will be like locked up really, because you know, really you'd want them to only be, when they're down, that these can be open. Uh, and it makes sense for them to be closed up. I mean, technically you have personnel in there or, or something, you know, um, or a base entrance or whatever. It probably wouldn't, but could do. Um, yeah, so we, we've got one on, on the actual lift here. These are, these are very Jag Thunder-esque. 
um, lifts using the using the slabs on the side. So these are like heavily, heavily inspired by his. Um, one thing I did do actually is because I didn't build the Harrier first, I did the same thing I did with the with the hangers. Which I'm, I'm gonna have to learn this lesson. Um, I, I didn't build them big enough. Um, I needed to. Well, it was wide enough, but it was not long enough. So I ended up building my Harrier two blocks longer than the boxes here. So I ended up having to come in. Um, I did that off camera. I just came in and extended them all. So I extended it by one on each side so that it looks like it's got more room around the side. So you can actually, you know, go past the wingtip. Um, but at the back, it is, it is a very, very snug fit. Fit is exact. So I ended up having to do that. Um, and that, uh, yeah, we got a little hanger here. I, I'm not too sure if I like this or not, but... Um, yeah, I need to put some lights in and everything, but there's a small hanger in here so you can have some craft or anything really. Um, you can have quite a lot of things and uh, yeah, it also this, this actually I'll talk about the bridge thing a bit. Yeah, so I had to extend it. Um, yeah, because of that extension, on this is the biggest one, this is the biggest jump up the mountain that would go, the biggest one in, in total. Um, because of this one I had to extend it and I did have on the time lapse, I think you, know, you guys might have noticed the helipad that I was building on here. The idea for that was like small, really small helicopter just to get personnel around, say like commanders or um, say wing captains or whatever, you know, um, anybody that needs to be briefed on base rather than uh, like over in the main base and brought up or just brought up in general if they, you know, if it's going to take them ages to go up by car and I'm going to do a road going in and I'll show you guys that later. Um, so I started doing this, I haven't finished it obviously, but that's because I thought it's a good place to end and I, because we've got the main runways done so we can then build the base parts of it. Uh, separately for this, um, because we've got this nice diagonal one. Um, so yeah, the idea being in here that yeah, they could come out of here, they could then either go down onto one of these runways and we'll have them all like pulling themselves in. I haven't obviously done this one yet because I need to do something with this and I might end up dropping uh, a bit. It's five high in total, you can hardly see it in, in Zeus, but five high in total so you can just get the hangar, uh, Harrier in, even though it looks like it would fit in really snug and it might be that I just end up going actually no it looks like it can fit and even if it can't even if it would scrape um, it'll do <laughs> so something like that and, uh, and it might even be that we don't have the Harry's going underneath there as well as my other thought and um, we just have it you know it just goes around to here and they can take off from there um, and then they have to take the lift up into this bit which will then get them onto this runway which is the biggest one um, so we'll, we'll kind of like get onto this bit later on uh, the other thing I'm gonna be doing is some sort of control tower type thing up here because uh, view wise it's perfect um, so this is where we're gonna have the main kind of like control uh, as long as it's on a clear day obviously it'd be better if we had it somewhere else you know like there or whatever but I, I just think for the view you get these three runways and you get that one uh, all in one go so we'll build something up here to accommodate for it and have um, lots of like you know surface to air missiles systems type things around as well so we're gonna like build up this building build up that I'll get onto that next episode so, um, yeah, the angled runways, um, really, really fun to do, actually. Um, not as difficult as you think they're going to be. The the only one that was really difficult was this one. This was the most difficult out of all of them. The easiest was the 45 degree um, and, and this one, which is just slightly offset. Um, what I should have done with this is actually had these slightly angled. I did it on this one, so I actually had these ones, and it's very difficult to show you guys. But these ones, the actual bits that go across are, are actually angled. Actually, that's wrong. Let's get rid of that. Um, so there we go. Those are actually angled. Um, and this was a nightmare. I don't know why I've got consistently got that. Oh, I know why. Yeah, it's because they actually do. In terms of the five, because one, two, three, four. Yeah, okay. That's fair enough. Okay. So I'm supposed to have that, apparently. I don't think it looks right, but whatever. Um, so yeah, these. this was the most difficult one. But it was basically taking the same design that we got here with these pillars and um, turning them. Uh, so this one is actually turned. I did it all manually. But it is at a slight angle, so it's all skew it's just slightly skewed. Uh, this one is the these ones, the 45s, are, are just complete re rebuilds of the same kind of style. Um, I'm pretty happy with them. I need to do the cut the grooves in and all that kind of stuff, um, but I'm really happy with how they turned out. Really, really happy. I think they look pretty cool and pretty snazzy. So um, yeah, 45 stuff um, is really easy to do. Just just give it a go. Um, the only thing is copy and pasting with world edit be beware that you will take chunks out of the mountain I took two chunks out of the mountain because I forgot to do paste with minus a so do that <laughs> If you're gonna be doing it um, But yeah, pretty happy with uh, how it's turned out. So yeah, the other thing that I've done um, Which this will be I literally did this uh, before doing the video. This is a 45 degree 
Harrier jump jet landing vertically. <laughs> so um, this was such a nightmare to do. It is bigger than the actual Harrier because I've done it at an angle. I tried to use the same measurements as that one um, to base it off of. So everything, uh, it looks bigger, everything looks bigger. But this is the, the biggest runway. So you could actually have people landing, I reckon, on this one. Um, it look, It's a bit short, but you know, especially for vertical or, or slightly vertical take uh, landing, you could definitely do. But I'm pretty happy with it. Um, the only thing I need to do is uh, this Conquest Smoke, uh, grab a modern one for it, and I've also used the cloud blocks that we've got in, but if you were doing this on, like, uh, a normal kind of like vanilla type thing, uh, you would just use glass, you know, you just use your white glass or, or and just spatter that around with uh, cobwebs. It would look really good. Um, so, yeah, kind of different, really, really different. I think the tail looks too long, so I might pull it in, but, yeah, it was quite cool. It was quite, quite difficult to do, but uh, especially the wings, they were the worst. The rest of it was fine, but um, yeah, different. So we got that kind of like landing. So that one's doing a vertical landing. And obviously we got one here ready to take off and, and just go. Um, so yeah, guys, there's... Uh, what else did I need to talk about? Yeah, there's these bits here. So again, these pieces going across here are heavily inspired by uh, Just Cause. Um, just Cause directly has like something like this on it. Uh, just goes free so I was just like yeah this this actually looks really good especially with these textures as well it just it works perfectly and just using some fence to connect it um, it just provides a walkway so I might have inside this one some sort of like observation type tower here because it's a pretty good view over here um, but if I'm gonna put catapults in we'll have like the catapult type uh, rooms as well uh, I don't know how they're gonna fit in but uh, I'm gonna have to look at them and see if we can actually do it if we can't do it then we won't do it um, but I really like them. I'm going to have this stepping down. As you can see, it's got, you know, it goes around and it, it can step down and everything. Uh, I'm going to have it go um, with a couple stairways going all the way down. So you can actually get to this area here and you can walk all the way up. Um, the same with going up to this level then as well. So you can, you can kind of go in, in from here. There'll be a door uh, in this bit. It's just filled in with black wall at the minute. To, so you can't really see it. But there'll be like a door up there as well. So it'll allow you to get around this area which would be a, a bit of a pain if you had to take the costly lifts because they would cost quite a bit to run so that's the idea but um i'm really happy with it i'm really happy with how the angles turned out the only one i don't like is the copy and pasted one but hopefully extending that will make it look a bit better um but yeah i've also uh what the other thing that i do yes yeah, so different angles and different sizes as well different sizes are really important these are like 15 wide i think this one's 17 and this one i don't know but it always looks bigger because it's Diagonal, diagonal always will look bigger. So if I want two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Apparently sixteen. Doesn't sound right at all. It'll be seventeen counting this one. It's because I counted from this block here. But it will be seventeen diagonals. Going across. Right, so next episode what I'm planning on doing, and let me guys know what you think about this. Um I will be doing the road part of it, so the road will most likely be coming up this way where I've got the orange wall uh, going underneath these. I think this will look at, make it look really cool and built up. So it's also the path of like least resistance, um, well almost, uh, the runway's kind of got in the way of a lot of the least resistance bits, but you know we can have it running up here, we can have... I was, I was tempted as well in this open gap here to have some helicopter landing spots, some bigger ones, so we have like an extension onto here. Just so you can get some helos landed on there. It just makes more sense to me to to use the the area we've got since we, we're quite um, not got as much uh, uh, like land as we would or I would like to. So we could have just some heli heli pads, no hangers or anything like that. Um, then probably it'll run up here. Again, I was thinking about hang uh, heli pads or something else. I don't know. Um, we could just leave this blank, or we could build a building of some kind. So something like a training center for for down there. Um, I'm not really too sure yet. I'm, I'm not totally sure. Um, and then, yeah, it'll run up through here. This, again, I was thinking helipads. <laughs> I don't know why I'm thinking helipads so much, but, um, yeah, I was thinking, like, helipads or some sort of admin building type stuff that you need for these guys, because um, this will mostly be a hangar, and we'll have the other stuff, so, like, some other type of, like, buildings around here, and then that'll go up and join up to this area here, where we'll have, like, more of a flat area. Um, probably quite a few spots for planes to be uh, just left out. Uh, and then, yeah, I'll build a nice big hangar in here. Cut into that. Have a lift system somewhere inside this building. Um, probably on one of the corners so it's nice and uh, snug. So we can just like lift them up and they can... Uh, what, what I don't, don't want to do is have it where, you know, you can 
I want it to be a functional hangar, that's what I'm trying to say. I want it to be a functional hangar so you can actually have your planes going in and also some things being lifted up at the same time. I don't want it to be like right in front of it or, or anything like that. So it might be quite tight. Uh, it's either that or we end up having this is just the lift building. So it's just where you would be able to lift planes. And uh, we have other areas like here, like we cut this back this mountain like I've done. Uh, well, this is just naturally how it was. You know, cut this back, smooth this out and then actually have like a... Uh, hangar type type thing over here on, on this area, or a couple of them in the mountain, kind of like embedded in the mountain for all of the alert fighters. So, anyway, guys, that's pretty much it. Um, tell me what you think, anyway, and what you think of my next plans. Uh, I think this series is going to be a lot longer than I thought it was <laughs> because of stuff like this. But um, I think the effect of it would it's going to look great with with everything else being added in. I think it's just going to look brilliant. I think it's just going to uh, look really cool. Um, it's either that or if you guys don't want me to work on this so much, I can work on this area, which will be mostly flat and mostly hangers, uh, which actually, no, that won't take too long. No, I think we just continue with this, finish up this bit, and then we can move on, because then we've only got, so we've only got, we've got this big area here, that'll, that'll take quite a while. Um, we've got an area around here I want to do where you can have some planes, you know, uh, all around this bit. Maybe some more around here, we'll see, you know, some extra hangers, extra hangers and extra areas for helicopters to land, as well as the uh, then we'll get onto the bigger area here where we can have some big stuff. You know, the big stuff will just take up a lot of room, which is is quite good. Whereas this, at the minute, we're still doing quite small stuff, but it's looking cool, looking really cool on the map actually. Um, oh yeah, and the other thing was I tried to come up with a symbol. So this is supposed to be like um, the eagle's nest or, or something. We'll come up with a cool name for it. You know, falcons, falcons reach or something. I don't know. We'll give it a cool name. So falcons reach, eagle's nest. Um, I don't want to call it the Griffin because that's directly from Just Cause, but something like that. Um, and this is the kind of symbol, so I put those onto each of these. Uh, this one, I was tempted to angle it, but um, it looked terrible. So it looks fine with it being flat, and then I tried to do my best with an, a complete 45, and it looks terrible. It doesn't look anything like it, but um, yeah, I think we're going with like the Falcon's, Falcon's Reach or Falcon's Nest or something like that um, for this area of the base, uh, which is those quick alert fighters and also obviously it could be training for carriers and things like that short takeoff um, and vertical landing type stuff would be quite good to train here as well so it's all of that kind of like bundled in but anyway guys let me know what you think um, give me comments as well I love reading through you guys comments and all your ideas are awesome so um, yeah thanks for watching guys I will see you on the next one